Typically, to get a chain stitch bind off on a bond or knit smart machine, because we don't have any gate pegs, we use the transfer bind off, which is the subject of another video. However, when the knitting is fairly loose, as this is, because I'm knitting in cotton, I have found that you can chain stitch right off of the machine. The knitting is still in the hooks of the needles. I've pulled it forward to give a little freedom of movement to push the tool through each stitch in a row. I will show this to you up close and very slowly in a minute so you can see how it works. But for the moment, let me just describe it. The tool comes from the side we're on up to the stitch, pushes through the stitch, up sort of between the needles at an angle so that we can lay the working yarn in it and pull back a new loop. Our job is simple. That's to pull back the loop so the same size every time so that we get an even chain stitch to bind off. Okay, here it is up close and slowly. Push through, lay the yarn in the hook, pull back. This is a loosely twisted yarn, so you'll see me working hard to make sure that I catch all the strands and don't miss any of them. In a more tightly twisted yarn, that's not an issue at all. There is more than one direction from which a person could lay the yarn in the hook. I don't think it makes very much difference which you use, but it does make a difference that you put it in from the same side every time. You also want to either go over the working yarn, as I'm doing, or under the working yarn every time you reach for a stitch to push the tool through. The consistency is what's going to make for a pretty even edge. As a side note, I started experimenting with this on my Knit Smart machine, but I soon realized that the technique will work for any hobby machine. So my LK100, HK100, and Brother KX350 could all use this technique. Up to now, you've seen me working, as I showed you, just with my stitches pulled forward on the needles a little bit. And I'm pretty comfortable with that, but if you feel like you need something to keep the needles in position, simply put something to fill the bed between the back rail and the needle butts. The combs that came with the Knit Smart to use as needle selectors happen to do this job beautifully, but if you don't have any such thing, a piece of cardboard cut to size would work quite well also. The advantage of using a spacer is that if you happen to bump the needles in the process of chaining off, they can't get out of position. This keeps them even and in the expected place. Using this method of binding off, I find that the last few stitches are the hardest to get the needle into, the latch tool needle that is. I think it's because they're under the most pressure at the outer edges and all the rest are already done kind of tightening the work up. But I began to use my left hand to elongate the stitch so my right hand could push the tool through and it's no problem. Then I obviously snip the yarn, pull it through the last stitch. You can easily lift it off of the machine and have a pretty bound off edge. 